Hey, hey, hey. So let's just be really honest. This is the first time I've ever gone actual live on YouTube. I'm not really sure what I'm doing. So I'm actually just sitting here trying to sort it out. I actually think I might be live. Yeah, I totally am. All right. Well, hi. Normally, I just upload videos to my YouTube channel. And this morning, I figured, I decided it's randomly that I wanted to learn how to go live on YouTube. So here I am figuring it out. Um, and there's your first lesson in entrepreneurship, right? Like when you want to do something, no one's going to come along and do it for you. You have to figure it out. You just go figure it out. All right, but what I really wanted to talk about today was time management. So I don't know if you're anything like me, but I'm an actual fruit fly. Like you can see me even on lives. Um, I am a hot mess express, no ducks in a row, fruit fly every day, all day, all the time. It's just how I roll. Um, but I have a lot of balls up in the air and I need to focus. Sometimes I need to focus to get things done. And I know I'm not the only one who struggles with this. So I thought that I would share just a few really quick tips on how I stay focused and get stuff done. And when I started doing these things, I actually became significantly more productive. Crazy, right? So here's what I do. Um, first of all, when I'm trying to, when I need to accomplish a task, I get rid of all distractions. And listen, I know you've heard that before, but here's the actual things that I do. I turn off. If I'm on my laptop, I close every window because if not, I see another window and I'm like, oh, I wanted to go do that. Oh, I remember about that. Oh, I have to fill out that form for my son. Oh, I need to fill out that thing. I actually was just doing this. I was sitting, this is why I don't know what I'm doing. I wasn't focusing. I was sitting here and I got an email from the community we're moving to. So I was like, oh, I have to fill out our pass so that we can get into the pool and the gym. Oh, I need to fill out my son's forms for next school year. You have to, I close all the windows on my computer. And I know I'm, I'm also a person that's in the habit of leaving them all open, but you're better off if you close them all because it, it eliminates distractions. Okay, so turn off your phone notifications. Actually go into the settings and turn them off so it doesn't make that little buzz. Listen, phone notification settings are made for a very specific reason. There's a reason we're addicted to electronics. There's a reason we're addicted to social media. It's like Jedi mind control. You have to take back your power. And so when you're trying to focus, turn off the notifications because if that little thing dings or buzzes or lights up, you're not going to remain focused. You're going to go look at it. Now, what I do, because I know moms, you're going to be like, hmm, what if my kids call? I put it in, uh, oh, I have an iPhone. So if you don't have an iPhone, I don't know how to help you. But I put it in that little night mode, right? And in night mode, my phone will ring if my wife or my son try to call me. So it sets my mind at ease that I know if there's an emergency, they can get a hold of me. Um, so turn off your phone notifications. And then I use um, an app called App Block, or you can use Focus Me. That's another app that will turn off, it will block you from your social media. And you're like, Melissa, I'm not that ridiculous. I don't need to be blocked from social media. You do. You know you do. You know I'm right. Because you're at work or you're sitting in your office and you're trying to get something done and it says, Sally Joe commented on your post. And you're like, oh, what did Sally Joe say? You, you want to go look at it. So I use App Block or Focus Me to block, to literally block myself. So now let me tell you how I do that. So I'll tell you at the end of this. The third thing I'm going to tell you about is going to explain how long I block myself for. Okay, so the second thing I would recommend, you know, I might not like this, is dump the coffee out. Trade it out for nootropics. I get you. I'm an energy junkie too. Like I like to drink lots of coffee or I used to. I've replaced it with nootropics. There are plenty of nootropic products that will give you energy and also give you focus. Coffee does not do that. Coffee draws your focus away and it creates a crash. So switch coffee for nootropics. Lots of products out there. Go find some. 
And then the third thing is use the Pomodoro time method. If you don't know what that is, you haven't done any research on it, Google it. It's fantastic. So what I do is when I'm focused on doing something, I need to create a new automation or I need to create content or, I, or something I need to get done. I set a timer for 25 minutes and that activity that I'm trying to get done is all I do for that 25 minutes. And that's where my um, Focus Me app comes in. I block myself from social media for 25 minutes and I just focus on the activity and the thing that I'm trying to get done. And then after the 25 minute period, I take a five minute break. And then I start again. And then I start again and I do it four rounds and then I take a 20 minute to an hour break. I only work in 20 minute spurts. And it is so much more productive to do that when you could, because I can focus for 20 minutes. If I turn off all my distractions and I block my social media and I close all my things down on my computer, I can focus clearly for 20 minutes. And then I take a five minute break. I get up, I go get a water, I walk outside, I do something. But I take that break. Your brain needs that. That's how our brains work. So those are my little tips and techniques to create focus. I hope that helped you today. Um, and if you want to get notified when I go live, make sure you hit the subscribe button below so that you get a notification of new videos and new lives. And I hope to see you around the page. Talk to you all real soon.